Shalom, and welcome to a new episode of Sar'el Academy. The Academy is the educational division of Sar'el Tours and a service to our valued clients and global travel agents. Today you will visit Gethsemane on the slopes of the Mount of Olives. The Lord found comfort in nature and would often retreat to remote rustic settings to commune with His Father. The garden, an oil factory, is known as the place of ultimate surrender as Luke 22.42 records, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. Shalom and welcome to Israel. I'm Reuven Doron for Sarel Academy, representing Sarel Tours and Conferences together with Sarel Media. Glad to host you here today at the Garden of Gethsemane. In the Hebrew language, we call this site Gat Shmanei. Two concise Hebrew words, both of them still part of the popular vernacular that simply describe the oil press. All four Gospels, in fact, relate to this location as the very place that our Lord Jesus retreated to after the Last Supper, after He revealed Himself to the disciples and to the whole world through their testimony and through the Word as the Lamb of God. He was preparing for the final offering. He was preparing for the final sacrifice. And the first thing on his agenda was to pray to his heavenly Father and our heavenly Father. The scripture tells us that this was a very agonizing prayer time. In fact, I'd like to read from the Word of God. It says, coming out from Jerusalem, he went to the Mount of Olives. The other Gospels identify the exact location as Gat Shmane Gethsemane. As he was accustomed to, he came to the garden. His disciples followed him. He came to the place and he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw away, knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if it is your will, take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. In fact, the Gospel of Mark is the only place in the Scriptures where we see uh, Mark's perspective, where he says that the Lord Jesus didn't just say, Father, but it's the only place in the Bible where it is recorded that he said, Abba, Father, the most beautiful name of God. Listen, we live in Israel. I have children and grandchildren here in the land. When they come to visit me, guess how they call me? Abba. This is the intimate address. This is Daddy. This was the only time in the Word of God that Jesus called our Heavenly Father, Abba, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, but not my will, yours be done. These words, friends, were uttered in this garden. Abba, Father, when He laid on His life. Three times the Lord is recorded to have come back to the disciples to check on them. Remember, He asked them, to watch with Him, to pray with Him, lest they come into temptation. There was a reason for the hour of prayer. But the Scripture says that their spirits were heavy. They were depressed. Listen, when we get depressed, when we get heavy, burdened with circumstances that are beyond our emotional capacity to bear, we do check out. It is human behavior. It is not an uncommon temptation, but the Word of the Lord will always come to us in the hour of temptation and say, watch with me, pray with me. And the process of the pressing of the oil is profound. And it happened here, the scripture says, as he prayed, began to sweat drops of blood. As the Savior of the whole world sweated blood literally, praying, Abba, Father, if it is possible, if there is any other way to save the world, to bring in the lost, to pay the price for the sin of the whole world, let it be. But if there is no other way, your will be done, not mine. And while our Lord laid down His will before the Father's will, right here in this garden, the old city of Jerusalem is right behind us. The Mount of Olives is right above us. We are right where everything happened. The last few days and hours of the earthly life of the Son of God took place right on this soil. It might have been one of those olive trees. Some of them are said to have been alive for hundreds, perhaps even thousands of years. Olive trees can live forever. If they don't get cut down, diseased, or burnt, they will live forever. 
They are a symbol for the life of God that is pumping, everlasting. And how we worship the Lord and how we worship Him together right here in this garden, Gat Shmanei in the Hebrew, the oil press. And when He comes to our lives, when He knocks on our door, I pray that He may find a willing vessel that also say, Father, Abba, not my will, but yours be done. God bless you today. We'll see you in Israel. To further enrich and complete your experience of this site, please enjoy the following insights and comments by Kenny, one of Sarel Tour's trusted and professional tour guides. Watch and enjoy. Shalom, shalom, and greetings from Jerusalem. My name is Kenny Guerin, licensed Israeli tour guide, working with Sarel Tours and in connection with Sarel Academy Film Production. We're now filming on location here in Jerusalem amongst uh, the uh, Gardens of Gethsemane, located as she is at the foot of uh, Mount of Olives, opposite the walls of the old city and looming above the Kidron Valley. The Garden of Gethsemane, the traditional site to recall the agony and the rest of Jesus. In Hebrew, we pronounce Gethsemane, Gat Shmanim, translated literally a olive press. Here the symbolism is very vivid. Just as in the production of the olive oil, so too the blood, the sweat, the tears running down the cheeks of the face of Jesus as he agonizes over his fate. We are now filming on the grounds of the private gardens of the Garden of Gethsemane, truly, truly, truly conducive to quiet time, prayer, meditation, song. Outside the gates of the private gardens, the public gardens, when you come and visit us here in Israel, we will take you to both the uh, private and the public gardens. And in the uh, gardens of the public side are standing some very ancient olive trees. Just judging by the thickness of the twisted gnarled trunks of few of these olive trees, you'll be able to judge how ancient they truly are. When you come to travel Jerusalem together with us, we will take you first to the private garden in order to allow you the opportunity for quality uh, time. And then before leaving the premises, we'll lead you into the public gardens, standing by the tree that enjoys the reputation of actually being the absolute oldest tree in the gardens. My next comment, somewhat dramatic, but I'm not guilty of over-exaggeration when I plant in your mind's image, standing by this oldest of all of the olive trees, I can make the statement of perhaps as a young sapling, that olive tree was a silent witness to the suffering of Jesus. So thank you again for joining us right here at this very, very special site. And uh, right from here, on behalf of Sarel Academy and Sarel Tours and Conferences, we bless you in the name of the Lord. We bid you goodbye. Looking forward to host you in Israel on your next trip.